Welcome to the Old Time Radio Westerns. I'm your host, Andrew Rines, and I'm excited to bring you another episode absolutely free. This episode is one of many released every month, totaling over 80 episodes so far. Each one is meticulously digitally restored and stored in the cloud for your convenience, a process that incurs costs. To help cover these expenses, you might hear some advertisements throughout the episode. While we do retain the original commercials for historical authenticity, you may also encounter modern ads, which help keep the lights on. If you prefer an ad-free experience, we offer a couple options. You can listen to the episodes on YouTube, where they don't include the audio ads, although YouTube may provide their own ads on their platform. Alternatively, you can also support us by becoming a patron on our Patreon page. For more information, go to otrwesterns.com slash donate. Again, otrwesterns.com slash donate. I do want to emphasize that we are committed to providing this content to you for free, but also we have to be transparent about the financial realities to bringing this to you. To those of you who are already supporting us, we extend our heartfelt thanks. Your contributions make it possible for us to continue doing what we love. And as a final note, I did want to mention one last thing. If you are paying for a service, let's say like Audible, and you're listening to this show on that site, they do not provide any financial or monetary means to this podcast. We provide it to them as a way for you to be able to listen, but they don't help us in any way. So again, thank you to everybody who's already supporting. And those of you who want to support us in the future, I deeply appreciate it. Now let's get into this episode. This episode is going to be the Lone Ranger. Original air date is May 28th, 1947. And the title is Tom's About Face. Let's get into it. And I hope you enjoy. Fiery horse with a speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high old silver, the Lone Ranger. companion Tonto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Let's go, big fellow. Are you Silver? Hey! It was the morning of the 14th, a day that Tom Martin and his wife had dreaded. It was the day that, true to expectations, 
Gabby Garner came to call, accompanied by the sheriff. It's an outrage, I tell you. It's a skin game, and it's not right. Tom, don't take on so. You know it won't do any good. I'm within my legal rights, Tom Martin, and you know it. You keep out of this, Gabby. You brought the sheriff here to do your talking for you. You let him do that talking. But it's my money that you borrowed. And it's my bank you borrowed it from. I'll talk of a warrant. And why in tarnation did you bring the sheriff? Tom, do hush up. Sheriff West, what are we supposed to do? Well, I'll tell you if these two mavericks will keep still. Hold me names on top of everything else. Tom, just sign your name on this here paper. What's that for? It's the deed to your ranch. You were trying to get over to Banker Gardner as payment in full for the money you borrowed and can't pay back. Stealing my ranch, that's what it amounts to. I never stole anything in my life. Tom, why don't you sign the paper and get it over with? I didn't borrow as much as he says. Tom, you can take my word for it. It's all legal. Well, how come I'm paying back more than I got? The difference is made up in handling charges and interest, Tom. I tried to explain that to you. Here you are, Tom. I wish you'd hurry. My time is valuable. Here's the pen, Tom. Yeah. All right. Here goes 20 years of hard work. The sweetest hunk of rangeland any man ever had. Mm. He'd think it was my fault that he can't pay back what he borrowed. Now, don't get him riled again, Mr. Garner. There's your doggone paper, take it. Put it in your pocket before I make you swallow. Hmm. If you can raise the cash in the next few days, Tom, I'll be glad to let you keep your place, in spite of the fact that you've signed it over. Raise the cash? Where in tarnation can I raise cash with nothing on the hook to sell? Now get out of here. What? Go on, get out. All right, all right, I'm going. You, Sheriff, wait here. I want to talk to you. All right, Tom. Hey, go ahead, Gardner. I'll be with you in a minute. Wait for me out front. Good day. Goodbye, Mr. Garner. What did you want to see me about, Tom? How soon do I have to get off this place? You've got until noon tomorrow. What happens then, Sheriff? That is, if we're not out of the house. Well, I reckon Mr. Garner will be reasonable and give you a little more time. A gone crook. Now you've got him wrong, Tom. He's not a crook. He's just a hard-headed businessman. Even poor kid. You borrowed money from him and signed a paper promising to turn over this outfit if you couldn't pay it back. Well, how would I know my cattle was all going to be stolen? It's just our hard luck, Tom. That's all. If you uh, got any ideas where you're going when you leave here, Tom? Gosh, I... I reckon I hadn't thought much about it. I guess I've been sort of a fool. Tom. I heard about people losing their places with mortgages and the like, but I I figured it'd never happen to me. I, 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 doggone it. Never figured it'd happen to me. I, I'd just been a blame fool. Short-sighted fool Afraid to face true facts. It was that night, the last night Tom Martin expected to spend in the ranch house that had been his home for so many years, the place he had built with his own hands. Two horsemen made their way across the range toward the low, snug building. Tom is still up, Whitey. There's a light in the window. Good. Rain up right here. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, we better be careful, Whitey. Tom's wife is still up and around. Don't let her know why we came. You needn't warn me, Sig. I got sense enough to know that Ann had never sit still for what we aim to talk to Tom about. You wait right here with the horses. I'll fetch Tom outside. Right. Our nation's coming at the... Oh, Whitey. Evening, Tom. This is a hold-up here, pounding on the wrong door. All I got to steal has already been stole by the yeah, bank. I heard about it, Tom. Is that Sig out there? Yeah. What are you two crooks doing around here? I thought you were hiding out. We were. We figured on having a little talk with you. I'm not interested, Whitey. Ever since you two turned to Owl Hoots, I've wanted no part of you. Yeah, hold on, Tom. We used to be friends. You heard what I said. Step outside a minute. Won't do no harm to hear what me and Sig have got to say. I don't intend Come to... on, Tom. It might be worthwhile. Come on now. We'll close the door. Well, all right. Step over here with Sig. Yeah, we heard you got a pretty raw deal from Banker Garner. My own fault, I reckon. All right, Tom. 
You're looking just the same. Much you can see in moonlight. What are your plans, Tom? Reckon I don't have any plans. You got a VK tomorrow, isn't that it? Yeah. Ann's gonna stay with friends in town for a while. It's a doggone shame to lose a place like this. Old Garner would leave you alone until your stock is growing big enough to sell. You'd come out all right. What are you two getting at? I'll tell you, Tom. Me and Sig were wondering if you're the kind that gets kicked around without kicking back. Meaning what? Lay out the cards, Whitey. Face up. All right. I'll lay them out and face up. We've done all right since we decided to take what we want wherever we can find it, haven't we, Sig? Yep. We've done all right. You're a good man with a shooting iron and running iron. We can use a third man. You want me to turn owl hoot? That's the idea. You'll find it's a darn sight better than being someone's cow hand for thirty dollars a month. A cow hand at thirty a month is a darn sight better than busting stones for bread and water. <laughs> <laughs> busting stones? <laughs> you don't see us busting any stones, do you? <laughs> no, sirree. And you listen to me for a few minutes, Tom. I'll show you that it pays to take what you want whenever you want it. The sunlight glinted from the snow-white coat of a stallion that raced across the plains carrying a man who wore a mask. It was the Lone Ranger, the almost legendary character riding toward a clump of cottonwoods where his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, waited in camp. Oh, 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 oh. Steady, big fella. Saddle up, Toto. We're going to travel. And that's good. Steady, Toto. Steady. I picked up the trail of those two outlaws, Toto. You mean a fellow named Whitey? Yes, and his pal. They got away from us by following a creek. Yeah. I found the marks of their horses where they left it. Yeah, that's good. You follow tracks? As far as Tom Martin's place. And what them do there? I don't know. The house is deserted. All the furniture's gone. I think it was moved this morning. I saw fresh wagon tracks. What about outlaws? I saw where they'd talked to someone, probably Tom Martin. When the tracks left there, they headed for the hills. And Toto. Uh huh. Three men rode away from Martin's house. You think outlaw captured Tom Martin? Didn't look like it. No sign of a struggle. Uh, what we do? Follow tracks? Of course. It's time Whitey and his pal were brought to justice. Well, are you ready, Toto? Uh, be ready. Let it be, fella. One pull them up, scout. Tom Martin found the camp of his acquaintances a snug retreat high in the hills. He had been there with them since daybreak. You got nothing to worry about, Tom. Of course you haven't. The lawman can't find us here. That's not what I'm worried about. Well, what then? And your wife? Yeah. She asked a lot of questions when I left home last night. She didn't like the idea of me loading up our goods and starting her off to town alone. You told her you had a big deal on, didn't you? Yeah, I told her, but... Boys, I... I don't know if I made a mistake or not. You didn't make no mistake, Tom. We've got a big deal on. And we're going to be hitting the saddle real soon. For what? We got a job. Something we've had our eyes on for quite a spell. But we couldn't touch it till we had a third man to help us. What is it? One you ought to be particularly interested in. It's going to give you a chance to square accounts. I've got to know more about it. The bank. Gabby Garner's bank. We're taking it tonight. We're going to have more cash than we can spend in the year of Sundays. But how does it sound to you, Tom? All right, huh? Gabby gets into you for all you got. And you turn around and take all he's got. This is a whale of a lot more than he took from you. Hold on. I, I thought you fellas dealt in cattle. Yeah, we did, mostly. That's tin horn stuff. Now we go for the big money. But why they sig? You can't rob the bank. Why not? Well, what do you got against robbing the bank? We asked you to join up because we figured we'd just a man that'd be glad to take on old Gardner. Gardner cleaned you, didn't he? But if you rob the bank, it means that every ranch in this section will lose his money. Well, what's that to us? The men who lose are my friends. Are you turning yellow? Nobody's ever called me yellow. That's not the point. I'm willing to help steal a few longhorns. That's the way I lost what I had, and that seems like the way to get it back. But robbing the bank is something different. Get the horses, Sig. It's time for us to move out. Tom's too? Yeah, he'll go with us. Why do you count me out? Oh, no, Tom. You joined up with us and you stay joined. Steady, boy. Steady. There. You're riding to town with us. I'm not. Here's the horse. You hit that saddle and stay there. You're in this all the way. 
You figure you're not. There's only one way out. One way out, huh, Whitey? That's what I said. If you want to take it, go for your gun. I'm calling you. That's us. Good work, Whitey. Martin, you're a fool to try to outdraw me. You... You... Whitey, there's someone coming up the hill. Yeah, I hear him. Hey, we better clear out. Now, wait till I take a look beyond the street. You, what do you see? Two men coming past. Hit the saddle. Clear out in the opposite direction. Stay there, one. Get up. So long, Tom. We'll give you regards to your widow. Get up. Tom Martin lay on the ground as the Lone Ranger and Tonto raced up the hill toward the gunfire. He regained consciousness and with a superhuman effort pulled himself to his feet as the masked man reined up beyond the edge of sheltering trees. Tom's brain was whirling and his eyes were glazed. At the moment, he felt that all men were his enemies. He was dimly aware of the masked man he saw approaching on foot. He lifted his gun. I'll show you. You better put that gun down. I will not. I aim to get you. Rob a bank, huh? Bust all my friends, will you? Fire. I came for Sig and Whitey. Sig Whitey? So you're in on the bank robbery, too? No, I'm not. I, I'll show you. You're hurt. Can't even raise your gun. You're shooting into the ground. No, I won't let you rob the bank. I'm not going to rob the bank. Get my gun to bear. Get you. You raise that gun, I'll have to shoot. Shoot? Yeah, I'll shoot. You're Tom Martin, aren't you? Even skunk. Put the gun down. Put it down, I say. Now get her up. Martin, listen to me. Gun talk. That's it. Gun talk. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Now to continue our story, Tom Martin used the last of his strength to raise his gun and fire. In his semi-conscious condition, he thought the Lone Ranger and Tonto were in league with men who planned to rob the bank in town. He tried to kill, and the masked man had to fire in self-defense. Give him a little more water, Tonto. See if you can't force it between his lips. Help me cry. This bloody bad wound. No wonder he was able to get to his feet to meet us. Isn't that right? I'll look at his hand again. You shoot a gun? Yes. I hope the impact of the bullet didn't break his wrist. Uh, oh, he can get conscious now. Good. Uh, how wrist? Seems to be all right. Why did you dirty... You dirty killer. Steady. No. No, I've got to get up. Let me up. I, my horse. We're not going any place for a few minutes. The bank. Got to stop him. Are you talking about Whitey and Sig? <laughs> going to rob the bank. We'll have something to say about that. You're Tom Martin, aren't you? Huh? The mask. Let me up. Got to fight. I... Oh. There, now. Take it easy, Tom. Take it easy and listen to me. I've been following the trail of Sig and Whitey. The trail led me here. Are they the ones who shot you? I guess I must have been loco. I figured I'm teaming with crooks. I'll rob the bank. Are those two planning to rob the bank? Oh, my friends will go broke. I, I want to help. I, I want to help rob that bank. Of course you won't. Did you tell Sig and Whitey you wouldn't help them? Told them wouldn't help. So that's why they shot you, huh? Oh. Hey. Who are you, mister? That's it, Martin. Now you're coming around, and Tom and I are going to help you. Look, mister. If you want to help, get me on the saddle. I've 
Got to get to town. To protect Garner's bank. Is that it? Not that penny pinching schemer. He cheated me. I don't owe him no favors. I don't aim to protect his bank. I want to protect my friends. I got money in the bank. What have you got against Garner? Plenty. Foreclosed. Took my house in Rangeland. That's why your place was empty. Otto, you stay here and do what you can for Martin. Me savvy. And what you do? I'm going to town. We followed the Sig and Whitey for a long time. I think we're just about at the end of the trail. I'll be in touch with you soon. Where, where are you going? My horse is over here. You rest now. Good look, Injun. Mash man. Him plenty good friend. You wait. See what happens. Come on, man. After dark, when Sig and Whitey reached the town and reined up in the shadows behind the bank. Ooh, 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 ooh. Now keep your voice down, Sig. Are you sure the two of us can carry this off? I wasn't sure we wouldn't be here. That thing sized up pretty good. I hope so. Wouldn't it be better to wait until the bank is closed? Ah, when the bank is closed, the cash is all locked up in the safe. I picked a night when the bank stays open late so as we'd find the cash out where we could grab it and have darkness to cover our getaway. Come on now. We'll get around to the front door. Not many people on the street. Makes it all the better for us. There's a few customers inside the bank. We'll cover them. I wish there were three of us so we'd have three guns covering the people. We'll handle it. Don't worry. Come on now. Here we go. Just a hold up. Make a move, we let you have it. That's just a warning. You got all the cash, Sig? I got it. Well, hit the saddle and get going. Steady, boy. Get up. Get off. Sheriff, they got over $10,000. Get a posse. Get after them. Oh, well, help. Count me in. I'll join your posse. Where will you, Sheriff? I'll need all the help I can get. Those who got guns and horses, meet me in front right away. You've got to find them, Sheriff. You've got to get that cash. There's at least $10,000, maybe more, maybe twice as much. We'll do our best. Come on, boys. Hurry, Sheriff. Hurry. <laughs> Oh, boy, oh. What's the matter? Give the horse a chance to get the wind. Is anyone coming after us? Oh, not yet, but there will be. Put the cash in your saddlebag. Yeah, it's all here. Now, how would it be if we hid it in back of that big boulder so it won't be found on us in case we're caught? We're not leaving at any place. We're taking it with us. Now, I don't aim to get caught. Yes, again. Hey, what the... Why do you look? He's masked. I've been waiting for you at this rock. If you hadn't pulled up, I'd have stopped you. Waiting for us? Who are you? I think I can do more good with that cash than you can. I'll take it with me. Well, now, you just try it. Toss that saddlebag over here and be quick about it. I'll toss you some lead. No! <laughs> it's uh, your move, Sig. Do you want to swap lead? Don't shoot, don't shoot. Oh, my arm. I'll do more than break an arm if I don't get that cash right away. How about it, Sig? All right, all right. Here it comes. That's better. Who are you? How did you know our plans? You can think about that in your spare time. It wouldn't be healthy to try to follow me. Sig, Sig, do something. Get your gun out. Stop him before he gets to that horse. If you try it, Sig, you'll have to shave with your left hand. Sig, shoot. Don't let him get away. Shoot again. I'll try. Now, confounded, why don't you learn to shoot straight? That masked man's riding like lightning. Hey, look, here comes the sheriff's man. We gotta travel. Get after that masked man. While we're chasing him, we'll be out running the sheriff's pop. Then what about your arm? Never mind my arm. Get going. Get up. Get up. Come on. The Lone Ranger raced through the moonlit night, keeping within view of the bank robbers, yet far enough ahead to be out of gunshot range. He set a steady pace, heading into the hills in the sheltered camp where he had left Tonto and the wounded rancher.
Otto heard the familiar beat of Silver's hoofs. You hear horse? Yeah. That's Segan Whitey coming back. It's I... not. It's just one horse. You look through trees. You see him. You can hardly move. Here. Let me help oh. you. I see him. That's your friend. That's right. He's coming mighty fast. Hey, look down the valley. Your friend's being chased. Uh, too far to come. Whitey, Sig, it's those crooks. They're coming after the masked man. Oh, silver, oh, oh. Those critters are chasing you. Yes, I know it. Here, Tom. That saddlebag contains the bank's money. The bank's money? You mean... You stole it, you consign. Sig and Whitey robbed the bank. I took the money away from them. No wonder they're chasing you. And I think I'll believe what Tonto said about you being on the right side. Keep still and listen to me. You can do your talking later. There's a posse behind Sig and Whitey. Chasing them? Yes. Tonto and I are going to stay with you as long as necessary. From then on, you'll be on your own. And here's what you're to do. Sig and Whitey raced up the hill and dismounted a short distance oh, oh, from the hideout. Oh, 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 oh. He went right through those trees, Sig. Right to our old hideout. He's in there now. We'll rush him. There we are. So you want to shoot it out, huh? I knew he was there. Let him have it, Sig. That was a mistake. Scoop my arm. Not even to that. Now, you both have a bad arm. If you want some more, just keep shooting. Whitey, he's got the protection of them trees. We can't lick him. Go down your gun and stick up your hands. Now, hold on, mister. Let us come in close so we can talk to you. There's nothing for you to say. Then, Whitey, look. Down there, the lawmen, they're coming. Listen to me, Al Hoot. You got the cash. Let me pick up my gun and clear out. Leave your gun on the ground. Stand where you are and keep your hands up. <laughs> Sig and Whitey stood with their hands up, high as their wounds would permit. Having already had an example of the masked man's gunplay, neither of the two dared make a break, despite the fact that both knew that capture was certain with the arrival of the sheriff's posse. Oh, 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 Look at them there. They got the hands up. Hey, Rick, we are. We got you covered. They're the ones. They're the ones that robbed the bank, Sheriff. I can identify All them. All right, you got us. I'd rather take a chance in court and go to jail than to face any more of the kind of gunfire we've been getting. Uh, who stopped you? Who's been holding guns on you? Come out of there, whoever you are. Come out and show yourself. You'd better take over, Sheriff. I, huh? I've been what? wounded. Great day, it's Tom. Tom Martin. What's he doing here? Hey, he's been hurt. Oh, Martin, you. How'd you get on your feet? Sheriff, I'm mighty glad you got here. You see, I, I stopped a bullet. Martin, did you capture these two? He helped. What? Say, that man, he's masked. He's that masked man, he's the one you want, Sheriff. He's the one who got the cash. He robbed the bank. Changing your tune, eh, Whitey? These are the thieves, Sheriff. I told you I could identify them. Just a minute. Sheriff, yeah? how about letting Tom tell what he knows? Meanwhile, the banker can examine this cash. Go ahead, Tom. Those two, Sig and Whitey, wanted me to help them rob the bank. When I wouldn't do it, they gunned me and left me here to die. That, that masked man and the Indian found me. It was Tom that told me their plan, Sheriff. Oh, uh, Mr. Garner... You can thank Tom for getting that money back. Mm. The reward should go to him. Yeah. Reward? What reward? The reward you would have posted tomorrow if your cash hadn't been recovered. But I... That's should... right, Gurney. May I send you, you would have posted a reward, would you? Uh, I don't want nothing from that old piker. What? Piker, am I? Tin horn. You can't call me those names. I'm no piker and I'm no tin horn. You're sore because I took your ranch. Well, I've got a right to collect what's owed me. By Jupiter, I got the same right to pay what I owe. No man can call me a tin horn piker. I'm paying a reward, and I'm applying enough of it on what you owed me to pay off that mortgage. The rest ought to cover the doc's bill for patching you up. You mean I can go back to the ranch? That's what he means, Tom. Great day. I... Hey, that masked man deserves a reward more than I do. Where's that masked man? Well, he moved off to where he left his horse. He... Hey, there he is. Hey, mister... We got reward money coming. One to left. Well, it looks like the Lone Ranger don't aim to take no part of that reward. Oh, but, Sheriff, I, I didn't earn that reward. The masked man's the See, one... that is it, me. You're getting the reward, and you're getting your ranch back. Even if I have to call in your wife to help persuade you.
This has been a presentation of otrwesterns.com, and we hope you enjoyed. Please take some time to like and rate our shows in your favorite podcast application. Follow us on Facebook by going to otrwesterns.com slash Facebook. Subscribe to our YouTube channel by going to otrwesterns.com slash YouTube. And send us an email, podcast at otrwesterns.com. You can call and leave us a voicemail, 707-986-8739. This episode is copyright under the attribution non-commercial share like copyright. For more information, go to otrwesterns.com slash copyright. Have a great day, and thanks for listening.